Neutrinos are reported to have travelled faster than the speed of light. I have just heard that some scientists at CERN have observed particles called neutrinos to have travelled faster than the speed of light. Now I am convinced that this will not be the case. I believe these particles have travelled through the Swiss Alps from one location to another. Now through the media, I have heard that this may be the greatest discovery since Einstein's theory of relativity over a hundred years ago. I don't for one minute believe this, but there will, I think, be dramatic implications as measurement techniques used in the timing observations. Now I have heard of exotic possibilities proposing that somehow these neutrinos are travelling through dimensions other than a readily observable three-dimensional world. But I believe a simple explanation is all that is required. And, and namely, the simple and most obvious fact that the time for these neutrinos to travel has been measured too short. And this will be because of the uncertainties involved in the timing measurements. I will give an analogy here. In timing athletes at school sports days, I have noticed that all timekeepers almost always get too short a time for any race. And the more amateur the timekeeper is, then the greater this effect is. Now apart from problems because of the fineness and speed of sound, which I will leave here, the main problem is that timekeepers will invariably start the stopwatch too late, but stop the stopwatch either too early or too late. So, in fact, these errors do not cancel and result in obtaining too short a time when averaged over as many timekeepers as you wish. Now, I stress that this is a simple analogy, but nevertheless, I think the answer will lie in a combination of random and systematic errors that do not cancel, but will always favour too short a time. It is clear that no matter what the measurement technique is, it is more likely to anticipate the arrival than it is to anticipate the departure.